This is a panel sponsored by the Institute for Anarchist Studies, and the title is Taking Ourselves Seriously and Trying to Look at Anarchist Strategy as Anarchists in the Space, and I'm really thankful for Blue Stockings for letting us use this space. All of us are on the Institute for Anarchist Studies board. Um, Joshua Stevens, Cindy Milstein, Maya Ramnath, Josh McPhee, and we may each say something about ourselves when we get to our own presentations. And each of us is going to speak for a few minutes. Um, I want to do a little introductory thing. Um, Dave is kindly t videotaping so other people can see this. When we get to a discussion time, if you don't want to be filmed, or... Yeah, just let me know. Okay. Um, so for those of you who don't know, the Institute for Anarchist Studies has been around for maybe 14 or so years. Harjit Singh Gill, who's in the back, is on the board of the Institute as well as us. And he is in the back with flyers, so please pick them up. Um, designed by Josh, Eric Rune did the graphic, who's sitting right here, not looking at me because he doesn't want to take credit for it. And um, we also run um, exclusively on the idea behind the Institute for Anarchist Studies is that anarchists give to the Institute for Anarchist Studies, and we redistribute the money to radical writers and translators around the world. And there are three people here who have gotten grants. Andy Cornell, Josh McPhee got a grant, and Hilary Lazar got a grant. And you too can apply for grants. The point is we want to encourage anarchists to be theoretical, strategic, and do analysis out in the world, be public intellectuals, and to bring ideas. So this is one thing why we do this panel. We do educational things like this. We put on an anarchist theory conference a journal called Perspectives, who are always looking for writers, and a website. Um, so please read about it in the flyer back there. And Harjit is set up to take donations, and really what we do is, in a sense, we're tithing to our own movement, saying that we really want anarchists to be doing social theory and analysis and history and putting ideas out in the world, and that's where the money goes. So if you feel you can do that tonight, that would be great. All right. So the only little introduction I wanted to give to this panel is I feel like this panel is actually an exercise in us doing what we want people to do right now in terms of strategy and emulating that, hopefully. And this came out of two things. One is the Renewing the Anarchist Tradition Conference, which is in usually every year. It's skipping a year this year. And last year, a bunch of people come together each year and kind of try to present their ideas to each other and push anarchist theory. And last year, it happened to be a couple days after Obama was elected. So pretty much the entire time, we talked about what that meant for anarchists, the change in sort of statecraft and capitalism and the economic crisis that just happened. And out of that, a project came that end up being a few anarchists being in D.C. trying to engage as anarchists with the inauguration called Hope from People, Not from Presidents. But what I thought was especially nice is that evening a bunch of us got together and we actually just sat around for three or four hours talking about what we would want anarchism to look like. What is our strategy for the long term, our 5, 10, 25 year plan for anarchism? And I'd never been in a conversation like that. It was the beginning of me thinking about why don't we push our ideas like that more. The other reason this panel kind of got pulled together is a bunch of us actually took a van ride up to Montreal this summer. We don't have a physical building, so we meet twice a year face-to-face -face in a different city. And on the way to the van, Josh actually had said at the very beginning of the ride that it feels like anarchism is sort of where it's at in terms of left politics these days. And whether people call themselves anarchists or not, there's sort of a soft anarchism that people, so direct democracy, horizontalism, mutual aid, that that's sort of where radical politics is right now and what compels people and that we don't take ourselves seriously enough, which is what Josh said in the van, and it really struck me, and I've been thinking about that since, what would that look like? So this panel, in a way, is us sparking conversations together, and what I've loved, the last thing I wanna say about the Institute for Anarchist Studies Board is none of us share the same political beliefs within anarchism. There's, we come from a variety of tendencies. We actually are one of the few anarchist projects that fund and make spaces for the variety of anarchist ideas and tendencies. So it isn't us coming up with a line for anarchism, it's us critically together arguing out and exploring and pushing each other. And I really appreciate that about the IAS internally, but also externally. So now you're gonna see an exercise in us, each just throwing out ideas here to each other, with each other, and you. And this is the beginning of the process of how we might do strategizing, hopefully.